Food waste. It's a major problem for any organization that produces it. It's notoriously difficult to process and dispose of safely and efficiently and is the most likely waste stream to contaminate other waste fractions. Regulations governing public and animal health, reducing landfill capacity and government recycling targets have all conspired to raise the cost of food waste disposal to unprecedented levels. And these will continue to rise. We are encouraged to recycle as much of the waste that we produce as possible. Most waste streams are relatively easy to recycle. Glass, plastic, aluminium and even metals can be recycled into useful by-products. But not so food waste. Any commercial catering establishment can be faced with this problem, whether a school, hospital, restaurant or prison. Enter IMC a UK-based manufacturer of specialist catering and bar equipment and Europe's leading manufacturer of commercial food waste disposers. IMC commissioned Imperial College, London's world-renowned academic institution, to undertake a comprehensive research study. Professor Sue Grimes, who holds the SITA Royal Academy Chair in Waste Management at Imperial College, led the research project. Food waste is one of the most complex organic waste streams. The food waste comes from the food production industry, about 10 million tonnes per annum, from catering waste, that's restaurants and pubs and hotels, representing about 4 million tonnes per annum, and from municipal solid waste, which represents 7 million tonnes per annum. Alongside the laboratory research, a suitable field test site was found in a low-security prison in Lincolnshire with around 350 prisoners, where the research findings were put to the test using the IMC equipment in tandem with a big HANA in-vessel composter. Although chemical analysis shows that food waste from a catering establishment does not have the correct composition or particle size to enable it to be used in the direct production of high-quality compost, the use of IMC macerating and dewatering equipment overcomes these issues. Catering waste in itself is not a suitable feedstock for in-vessel composting, not least the fact that it is a variable particle size. The first important step is to achieve a homogenized feedstock. This is achieved through the use of a macerator. Furthermore, the water content of the homogenized feedstock is at 77% which is again too high for the production of a high quality compost which requires a moisture content of 66%. Through the use of the dewaterer and the bulking agent the ratio is reduced to about 66%. The procedure for processing the food waste is both simple to operate and highly efficient. Wet waste is first macerated and then, rather than sent immediately to drain, is passed through an IMC Waste Pro dewaterer, which extracts the solid particles from the liquid waste. This process both delivers the consistent particle size and controls the water content necessary for efficient waste decomposition and high quality compost production. The resultant liquid fraction, or grey water, is allowed to dispense to drain whilst the solid fraction, or dry waste, is collected in small, easily handled lidded collection bins. At this stage, the waste volume has been reduced by a massive 80%, thereby substantially reducing its impact on the environment and any costs associated with subsequent disposal, whilst also complying with UK legislation effective from late 2007, requiring food waste to be pre-treated prior to landfill. The addition of a carbon-rich bulking agent, such as compressed wood pellets, both balances the carbon to nitrogen mix and absorbs excess moisture. The dewatered food waste can now be loaded into the big hanna. The food waste mix is fed into the big hanna every day in an operation taking little more than a few minutes. 
The natural decomposition process typically takes between 6 and 10 weeks, during which time the bacterial activity ensures that the temperatures required by EU and UK animal byproducts legislation are achieved. The volume of the waste entering the Big Hanna is reduced by approximately 90% by the time it exits as compost. This compost has been tested to BSI PAS 100 standards and has been found to be of exceptionally high quality whilst deplete of the pathogens E. coli and Salmonella. Further curing of the compost in piles for a few weeks prior to use allows it to mature still further. Following trials of the compost on seedlings, crops at the prison have been planted exclusively with compost from food waste, thereby creating a 100% sustainable solution. The food waste recycling project here at Morton Hall, the calculators has saved us in the region of £8,000 on waste disposal costs. Added to that, the £4,000 that we have managed to save in staff resources, it's been a very worthwhile project. In two years, the project pays for itself. The food waste recycling model pioneered at HMP Morton Hall is readily transferable to many public and private sector situations. Derek Hannon from the Sustainable Development Team in Her Majesty's Prison Service is keen to maximise the environmental and financial benefits. I'm very pleased with the work we have undertaken at Morton Hall Prison. Critically, we have identified a simple process that can be adopted across prisons and from which we can realise significant benefits, both for the environment and economically. Already, HM Prison Service have introduced food waste composting technology at over 25 prisons. This is an innovative solution to a waste problem and we will be looking at rolling this equipment out wider across the prison's estate. The economic, environmental and social benefits arising from the IMC Sisteco food waste recycling model will have dramatic implications for the future of food waste disposal and the diversion of biodegradable material from final disposal processes such as landfill and incineration. It's very effective, easy to implement and operate, efficient and can provide a rapid return on investment. Food waste. It's not a problem anymore. It's a valuable resource. joining you to help you celebrate. Uh, you didn't own up to the, the rather curious link with IMC that uh, came through the Butler Trust, um, which rewards exceptional service in prisons, which is where I first came across uh, your waste disposal unit and the use of waste. So there are some interesting connections to be made um, in all sorts of businesses. Um, but what is most encouraging is how this business has adapted and grown and made very good use of its previous experiences to tackle head-on problems which actually are, we are going to have to take much more seriously, and that is dealing with waste, um, particularly our domestic and um, f general food waste. So in investing in this company, where it is, and giving yourself the potential for considerably more development uh, to be congratulated. So centenaries have their uses in terms of opportunities for uh, parties and celebration, but to be able to combine that with really looking to the future uh, is, is a double celebration. So I wish you well. Thank you.